All right. So, <laughs> you happen to have noticed that I went live a couple of minutes ago. Unfortunately, that video didn't work. So, I'm trying again. First, if you'd like to check out my amazing location. I'm going to use this umbrella to keep some of the sun off me. I've got my feet in the water. It feels pretty awesome, actually. Hopefully that wind is not like completely ruining the sound, too. All right, so disclaimer at the beginning, this is going to be an art of processing video. I will be posting it to that channel. And so what that means is if you don't, um, if you haven't watched the intro video for the art of processing yet, please don't watch this video um, until you have. Uh, I tend to get more emotionally volatile and swear a whole lot fucking more on art of processing videos. And if you're not up for it, then don't watch this video. Okay. So, oh no, my glasses. Oh no. Got those. Great. Okay. It's the only pair of glasses I got. Okay. So, one other disclaimer. Lately I've been hulking out a lot. And what I mean by that is rage comes through me very quickly and frequently. And sometimes with what seems like little provocation. But what's actually happening is something that's present is provoking a whole fucking shit ton of other shit that's built up to this. So I'm gonna tell a couple of specific stories about how fucked up and difficult and harsh it is to be on public assistance. And so for any motherfucker who says, oh, you're on public assistance, so, you know, you get benefits for free and you get food stamps for free and you get, you know, this, that and the other for free, I want to punch you in the fucking throat because no, it's not free. You know what it costs me is something that is so much more, um, so much less um, available to me than money. It costs me my time. And lately, honestly, I'm having some real fucking issues with my health. And um, essentially it shows up um, in the same way that adrenal burnout does. And so I get lately a couple of hours a day, most days. Every once in a while I'll get to have a better day. But for the most part, I get a couple hours a day where I feel like myself. Where I feel like I can handle business type tasks, where I can ha where I can maybe be creative, or where I can drive safely without the brain fog, like fucking with shit and making me, you know, practically feel like I'm altered. And so, when I make a doctor's appointment, it takes a tremendous amount of dedication and devotion and planning in order for me to make it to that doctor's appointment. And especially this one that I had to go to today that is like a 45 minute drive away. It's a very particular physical therapist that I really love. I really want to see her. She is worth the investment of, of my time and my energy to see her every couple of weeks. So what happens is, as I show up and I walk into the doctor's office and they're like, I'm so sorry, we just found this out, but you don't have benefits all of a sudden as of May 21st. And that's a weird freaking day to lose benefits. Um, and it, well, they actually said, well, you've been switched to this other insurance program. You're no longer on the state benefits. And it, over the course of a couple of minutes, I realized, oh, you know what? I changed my address recently. I still live in Portland, but because I'm a, I'm a victim of a violent crime, I qualify for this program where I get to have a secret address where the state of Oregon will receive my mail that could potentially you know, any address that might be um, available to the public, they, I let, I can put that address on it and then they forward it to me. So of course, when I get state benefits, I use that secret address, but that's not, I don't live in Salem. I live in Portland. And the person that I changed the address with on May 21st really knew that, she totally knew that, but she didn't take the next step required in order to make sure I didn't lose my fucking benefits. So here I am, I've made, I've gone all the way out there in order to be at the doctor and they're saying, so sorry, we can't see you. You have to get this straightened out. So now I've got to spend half an hour just on hold just to get through to someone and then I get fucking hung up on. And so then I call again, another half an hour on hold. Finally, someone answers and it takes over half an hour for us to get to the point where she's like, okay, I can't fix this for you right now, but this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna call you back on Monday. 
And so I'm really grateful for that particular person. And I will say that at one point I did say, look, I know that I'm sounding really frustrated. I am not frustrated at you as a human being, but I am extremely angry and disappointed at this system because it seems like at every turn, I am having to invest more of my extremely valuable and extraordinarily limited time to do shit that really shouldn't even have been a fucking problem in the first place. I didn't say all that to her, but that was the energy. So. So she's going, to, she's going a little above and beyond and helping me out and going to call me back and make sure that everything gets straightened out. So I'm grateful for that I don't have to once again leave another freaking, you know, stay on hold for another fucking half an hour to maybe to get through to someone who might help me. So another fucked up story about public assistance was um, my daughter and I have been receiving food assistance for several years now. Um, and um, she's amazing. And she's um, at 17 um, in, in, Mar in March of 2020, she went and got her GED. Go for her, that's amazing. And then you know what she did? She went out in the middle of a pandemic and found herself a full-time job. Holy crap, that's incredible. Her first job, you know, um, besides you know, working for her parents or something. So she goes and gets a full-time job. Of course it's minimum wage, it's not like it makes much. Turns out, then now, because she got her GED, so if she was still in school, they wouldn't count her income towards our income. But since she's still in, since she got her GED, now they want to count her income, even though she's not even 18 yet. So when they count her income, we actually drop down to only $16 a month for benefit, for food benefits. Well, that's not gonna fucking work. The good news is, that because of the pandemic there is a special month-to-month -month program where anybody who qualifies for anything at all gets the full amount so we're fine for now but that's a month-to-month -month program that could go away at any moment so then I say okay so you're using her income to count towards whether or not we qualify for benefits so can she get her own card so that when she goes to the grocery store she can use that card to buy food no she's not 18 so she doesn't get a card so I'm like, let me get this straight. She's 17, got her GED, so you're gonna, now she, we have to use her income, but you won't give her a damn card to actually use the benefits. Nope, not until she's 18. It's fucking annoying. And again, it comes back to every time I need to call these people because almost nothing is that you can almost do almost nothing online, even though they say you can, but the websites are so out of date and so bullshit that there's like, it's like, it's like pulling my fucking hair out. It's so painful to have to deal with these websites. They're so fucking terrible. Ah. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate the amount of time and energy I have to invest in getting the bare minimum, barely, like having to really work the system in order to get the minimalist most benefits. It's so fucking lame. And then it's a super lame how like the, the income limits are so low that an, an adult woman and a child, you know, I, th I think we were making this, I think the total was $1,700 a month or some shit like that. And that takes us down to $16 in food benefits. Are you fucking kidding me? Like the limits, you can make so little money and still qualify for benefits. So, it, the whole system is fucked. So if you happen to be one of those people who, for whatever reason, you've never had to be on public benefits, awesome. Good for you. However, those of us who have had to be on public benefits at certain times go through a fuck ton of shit in order to get them. So don't you ever make it sound like you think that this shit's free or that this shit's easy or that, um, you know, we're like lazy because we receive public benefits. It takes a tremendous amount of dedication to receive even the basis of benefits. And I really con am concerned for the people who are of even worse space than I am, maybe with brain fog or illness or maybe, you know, not a lot of education. I have a college education and I struggle every time with figuring out these fucking programs because they're so confusing. The last time I called and I was asking, what are the income limits? It took the gal 20 minutes to even find the information. Like something so basic as what the income limits are. They even make it fucking difficult for the employees to find. 
so no one better give me any fucking shit about public benefits being like all the rage or being that awesome. They're really not fucking awesome. They're well below even the bare minimum. And they're, the systems are out date and fucked up and they're understaffed, so it's no fucking picnic. All right. That feels like a pretty good rant. I feel like I got a lot of that energy out. All right, thank you for being on the receiving end. If you've had experience with public benefits and it being um, a frustrating process, trust me, I understand. Keep going for it. Keep doing the best you can. That's what I'm doing. Someday I won't even need them anymore. I won't even have to think about it. But I sure would like the system to be set up in such a way that it's not so freaking difficult to use it. All right. Have a very day.